UN peacekeepers have been working in the Democratic Republic of Congo for nearly 20 years. At dusk on Friday, an armed Ugandan group known as the Allied Democratic Forces launched an ambush in the eastern province of North Kivu. The three-hour-long attack was at a remote UN base near the town of Beni. I condemn this attack unequivocally. And these deliberate attacks against UN peacekeepers are unacceptable and constitute a war crime. I call on the DRC authorities to investigate this incident and swiftly bring the perpetrators to justice. There must be no impunity for such assaults here or anywhere else. The UN is blaming the Allied Democratic Forces, or ADF, seen here three years ago. They've operated from Virunga National Park for the past 20 years. They retreated there after a failed bid to turn Uganda into an Islamic state. The forests become a convenient hideout from which to launch attacks. The ADF is blamed for 700 civilian deaths over the past three years, as well as mass rape and recruiting child soldiers. Uh, we are uh, disturbing these groups. They don't want us there. And, and I think this attack uh, is a response by ADF, uh, uh, or probably ADF elements. The DRC is the UN's largest mission and one of its most dangerous. Two peacekeepers were killed in October, again by the ADF. Two weeks later, the UN raised its threat level to the same as in Iraq, Syria and Yemen. All this as half a billion dollars was slashed from the UN's peacekeeping budget, cuts driven by the United States and criticised by the UN's Africa group as dangerous. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.